Well, we got another family group that's on the program tonight, and I hope you're enjoying tonight's program thus far. Are you? You doing okay? Great. I mean, I've enjoyed these wonderful groups already, but this family right here, I love this. They are committed, they are called, and they are unified as a family to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that is their desire. As a matter of fact, I was just told a few moments ago they've been together traveling as this family for about 10 or 11 years now. And in that time frame, they have toured over 1,200 times. That means they've been in 1,200 different concert settings singing. They've been in 35 states. They've recorded nearly 100 songs. And they've miled over 400,000 miles in that bus out back. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? For a wonderful family from North Carolina, come on, put your hands together and welcome the Mylan Hayes family tonight. You're going to love them.
out of the old red back church hymnal and i think that's uh, uh that's one of the uh, greatest hymn books ever put together and it's one that uh, i grew up singing out of and i think it's pretty appropriate to uh sing this style of song at the james d vaughn festival and i love it all right listen i've never been sorry Ever since Jesus saved and pardoned, I have been singing every day. I've never been sorry. Praise the Lord, Lord blessed holy name. Through the dark shadows, He is with me, leading me on the upward way. I've never been sorry. Praise the Lord, Lord blessed holy name. I've never been sorry. Praise the Lord, Lord blessed holy name. Every moment I find all the way. song right there yeah I asked a lady last uh, on Monday night we were singing and I said how many of you haven't heard that song in 20 years and one lady she looked at me and she crossed her arm she said no I heard it last week and I said well you go to a good church then don't you <laughs> aren't you thankful to be in Lawrenceburg Tennessee and for Josh putting on gospel music in the middle of Lawrenceburg Tennessee and the Kellys didn't they do a great job tonight? The Kellys did a wonderful job. So did everyone that's come across the stage. We're so honored to be here. Um, this next song, you may know the writer of it. Um, his name is Rodney Griffin. I don't know if you've heard of him or not. Yeah, he's written plenty of songs, hadn't he? And this is one of his latest. Um, it's actually got a neat story behind it. He said, one night, he said, I was driving and it was late at night. He said, I was, in, I was going home to my home in Kentucky. He said, I came through this curve. And he said, on the left-hand side, up on a little hill was a sign. And he said, it was handmade, hand-painted. It was kind of sloppy. And he said, 
Uh, but and it hung a little bit crooked, but it said Jesus loves you on it. And he said I, it caught my attention as I drove by. He said I thought about uh, what Jesus did for me. And he said it took my mind back to when he saved me. And he said it just blessed me to see that sign and to think about the person that painted it that was faithful to share God's love, even through something simple as a sign, painting that, and putting it in his front yard. And he said I thought about that all the way home. I called my writer friend and we wrote a song about it. And he said, um, uh, so we ended up recording this song. And after we did, uh, we were singing with greater vision one night. And Rodney walks up to the table. And after uh, telling us the story and we had recorded the song, he said, you know, the Lord's laid it on my heart to be an encouragement to that person. He said, I don't know who he is, but he said, I know exactly where his house is. And he said, I want to drive all the way back up to his house and to tell him that because he was faithful to put that sign in his front yard, that God allowed me to write this song because of his faithfulness. And he did just that. He drove all the way back up on this little county road in Kentucky, he pulls into the driveway. There sits an older gentleman in his front yard in a lawn chair reading his Bible. Rodney got out and introduced himself to this man. And the man began to tell Rodney his story. He said his name is C.W. Gay. And he said that uh, he said one night, he said, whenever I was a young man, he said, honestly, I felt like I didn't have anything to offer the Lord. He said, I felt like I didn't have any talent to sing. He said, God didn't tell me to go preach and he didn't send me to some foreign place on a mission field. He said, honestly, I felt like that my life was just useless. And he said, I went to church feeling that way. And he said, the pastor got up and said, be faithful to do whatever it is God has called you to do, because God specializes in taking the small things and using them greatly for his kingdom. And he said, I went home that night and I asked the Lord, I said, if you'll give me something to be faithful in doing, I promise you from this day forward that I'll be faithful and do it. And for 25 years, C.W. Gay paints signs. He puts them in his front yard and that's his ministry to the Lord. He's faithful to do it. I want you to listen to this song. It came out of his little yard sign. It's called Jesus Loves You. Driving down a county road, feeling kind of empty. In someone's front yard, something caught my eye. Just a homemade painted sign that hung a little crooked. Three words in bright red against the white. For another couple miles, I just shook my head and smiled. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Someone unashamed and living out their faith. Jesus loves you. He really, really loves you. But in an unexpected place, may I never underestimate the ways that God may say that Jesus loves you. And sometimes it's a weather cross that someone nailed together that whispers, you were worth the sacrifice and sometimes a simple note that's handwritten by a brother the soothing words speak peace into my life something stirs me deep a reminder that I need Jesus loves you Jesus loves you, There's someone unashamed, and living out their faith, Jesus loves you, He really, really loves you, and like a gift of grace, but in it Well, it doesn't have to be on a fancy church marquee. The 
tell you, we, uh, we have some ways that you can share the love of Jesus out at the table. And uh, Bailey, tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, real quickly, uh, let me tell you about our brand new CD. It's called Steady and Sure. It has that song on it, Jesus Loves You, as well as Just As Sure. You may have heard that on the radio on Sirius XM. Uh, so the CD is $20 in CD format, but if you've got one of those newer cars that you need the USB thumb drive to plug into it, we've got that as well. Uh, we've got uh, the USB thumb drive. You're going to get two of our latest albums, and that is $30. But the thing I'm most excited to tell you about is people asked us for a long time if we were going to do yard signs because that song came out of a yard sign, and here it is. It says Jesus loves you on it. The yard sign is 15. And so you'll get that, you'll get the metal stick for it as well. And so you can pick all of that up at the table, including a t-shirt. And uh, the t-shirt says, Jesus loves you. He really, really loves you. So that's a great way to uh, help spread the gospel, even through something that you just wear or something that you put in your front yard. You'll never know the witness that it can be to someone that is driving by or walking by that sees that. And uh, so that is a great way to... Uh, Help further our ministry, get it on down the road, and uh, it also helps to feed hungry children. It's a wonderful ministry because that's the three of us up here. So we appreciate your help. Some people doubt 
Incredible. 